Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This one's been in my backlogs for a while, so I'm super excited to talk about it. Just as a warning, this is going to have some heavy topics in it. I'll put the trigger warning right here as usual. But today I'm gonna to be talking about two dark memes that I have heard about on the internet. On the internet, there are plenty of dark rumors, dark memes that float around the internet that we hear about but we never really confirm are real. The first one that comes to mind for me is the Tiananmen Square copy pasta. So just as a brief historical overview for those who are not familiar with the Tiananmen Square protest that happened in 1986. Tiananmen Square is a prominent monument in Beijing, China, which is the capital. Pro-democratic students protested there and the government's response to it was to meet the protests rather than hearing them out with military force, which resulted in hundreds if not thousands of young people dying. This protest took place over multiple days, up until the Chinese government encouraged non-protesters to stay inside, mobilized military force, and dispersed the crowd by firing into it. One of the most iconic pictures from this event is the tank man. This protester who stood in front of the tanks as an individual and stop the tanks from moving forward for several minutes. This being in conjunction with the tanks just basically running people over without any discretion, this took the world by surprise. Not only that, but it was a very powerful image of an individual standing up to a government without fear, just an individual faceless person, someone that everyone could project themselves onto. It's a pretty well-known fact that in China, talking about Tiananmen Square is illegal or banned by censorship. If one searches for the Tiananmen Square protest or any words related to it, there will be a temporary internet server disconnection. And of course, what do 4 channers like to do but to mess around with censorship? So what do they do? They make memes and send them to people in China, to which China's response is to go in and block as many as they can. Anything that remotely seems like it's related to Tiananmen Square, censored. These ducks, censored. These cigarette boxes, censored. Any topics even remotely related to the topic is censored, but I'll go into that more in just a second. It's important to note that within recent history, Hong Kong is a state separated from the majority of China. This includes the censorship of Tiananmen Square. So this is one place I believe that Tiananmen Square memes leak from and into China. A very popular catchphrase that has come from this whole censorship debacle is nothing happened of significance in Tiananmen Square. 30 years ago, nothing of significance happened. There was this idea that popped up on 4chan and it went like this. Be me playing WoW playing on Asian servers because NA servers are too easy. Two Chinese players bully me. Type June 4th, 1989, Tiananmen Square Massacre. Both disconnect. My face when I just sent two innocent children to Chinese labor camp and got their whole family executed. I apologize for the uh, crudeness of 4chan humor that I have to relate to you, but what's important about this post is the idea that you could send Tiananmen Square and any list of things related to this topic to a Chinese player in a video game started this rumor that it would disconnect a Chinese user. So what they did was create a Tiananmen Square copy pasta. And for those who don't know what a copy pasta is, uh, it's basically a, a huge block of text that you can copy and paste and people will do it anywhere and everywhere that they can and it's spread as like a large inside joke. The word creepypasta actually derives from copypasta but I digress. Here is the copypasta that was created in relation to this idea. If you're wondering why Winnie the Pooh is in there it's because this is a common insult towards the leader of China and it doesn't seem that he is particularly uh, a fan of this insult. Is this even a real thing? If I really send Tiananmen Square or anything related to it to a Chinese user, are they gonna get disconnected from my game? And no, they won't. If you search for Tiananmen Square within China, you are given a 404 error 
so you are disconnected from the internet for some time but no they don't come and take you they don't do any crazy stuff like that uh you're just penalized for a little bit sorry if you send the tiananmen square copy pasta uh it's maybe funny to some people but it won't actually work and our second dark meme this one takes a bit of a more somber tone is nyapoka if you're not familiar in russia there are some genres of streamers that are quite violent in nature they can be one of them was that there was a thrash streamer that ended up murdering his girlfriend while she was pregnant on stream to get views and money so there's a market for this unfortunately he ended up getting arrested um but this is some content that comes out of russian streaming one of the genres to come out of russian streaming is suicide streaming it doesn't really have a name but that's basically what it sounds like i think i'll talk backwards about this one because i'll sort of share it from how i heard about it and into how i learned more of what it was about so back in 2019 there was a gore video going around called room 1444 room 1444 um was the first gore video that i was ever unwillingly subjected to i'm late to the game i was protected from the internet as a child you heathens who grew up with gore um so for me it was very shocking but just as a brief overview room 1444 was the video of a russian man taking a rifle to his head and shooting himself right before he shoots himself he says the words nya poka so what exactly does this mean well if we're going to translate it in english it would be nya bai but what it is is nya is meow in japanese so it's related to um weeaboo anime culture and polka meaning by in russian so just yeah bye this has become a catchphrase before people commit suicide on suicide streams i really don't know how common this is because i've only uh heard about this one the room 1444 and the one i'm about to talk about rina palankova was a russian streamer who at 16 years old went viral due to live streaming her successful attempt at committing suicide by laying down on railroad tracks. Before she did so, she said, Nya Poka, which is now the origin of the catchphrase. In Russia, there's a popular social media site called VK, which I actually referenced in another one of my videos. But after this incident, this was the first time in mainstream culture that young people expressing suicidal thoughts was ever really talked about on a mainstream platform if they look back in rena palenkova's old social media timeline she was posting suicide memes so so there was an investigation into these small internet communities called blue whales or a game called wake me up at 420 which were similar to pages that palenkova was following before she passed away however this investigation is known as kind of sensationalizing a thing that really didn't exist on a large scale if at all basically it's alleged that the blue whale game is a list of tasks that young people would complete before committing suicide 50 days later so some of these groups that were alleged to actually be doing this whole blue whale thing played into the hype of this phenomenon that basically didn't exist and it was sort of a way of trolling the public i guess vk sort of has their 4chan-esque uh trolling at times there was one famous post that one of these groups made that had a list of users that had uh allegedly committed suicide but many of those users replied to the post saying that it wasn't true they hadn't committed suicide. One of those people replying to the post with So all of this sort of died down and then came back to light after the room 1444 video circulated. But I haven't heard much about it since then. But I had not been familiar with the Nya Poka meme even after seeing the room 1444 the room 1444 video i only recently just heard about this catchphrase so i wanted to talk about it because 
it has sort of a dark twist and I've never seen something similar to it in western culture but I, I could be wrong I'm kind of out of the loop with some things still catching up on internet culture that I missed back when I was a sheltered teenager so let me know what you guys think of some of these memes if you've heard of them before how did you first hear about them and what do you think of them now were you as informed on them as you thought you were if you have cool additional facts to add totally share them with me in the comments I love hearing from you guys so and with that being said I will sign off for today and I will say thank you for watching because this video is gonna have some uncanny themes I took off my eyebrows without shaving them and now I look crazy without eyebrows and I love it so look forward to me drawing on my eyebrows more often now that I figured out how to do it